So today we discuss about uh, lambda function. So we can write the without a function name, we can write the statement how we can write. We will see in this anonymous functions. We can write the code how we can write. We will see in the anonymous function. So first we will say what is a lambda, lambda or anonymous function both are the same so first we will observe anonymous function means so anonymous function is a function that is defined without a name so anonymous function is defined without a name and next two so while normal function are defined using a def keyword in the python in anonymous function are defined using the keyword lambda anonymous function anonymous function are defined using the lambda keyword so hence anonymous function are also called lambda function so, we do. so anonymous function or lambda function uh, anonymous function is also called as a lambda function so we we'll see the syntax so first we will observe the syntax lambda arguments colon expression so i will add two elements by using the lambda function so lambda so lambda lambda space arguments you will pass a two arguments the two arguments x equals to y you will add a two er you will add the two elements so expression is x plus y so this is the function so the lambda function or anonymous function so you may use to pass the arguments in the function you may define a function we will use def we will use the name add of we will pass the two arguments and then we will return or print whatever it may be print of x plus y we may write this general function function you will use to write like this so in anonymous function you will write like this lambda keyword and we will pass the arguments these arguments are referred here this expression will refer here so you may use print or return whatever the expression will be maintained so simply we can define here how we can write we will see the practical we will see So I will create one lambda function. So that lambda function, so lambda, so variable suite. So we will pass the two arguments x comma y colon colon x plus y. So you must use to assign some expression or you may pass the values so how will you pass the x argument values how will you pass the argument values in this function we will see so now we will save the file and then we will see it. how we will pass that arguments. so anonymous function so you will use to pass one variable so add or so i'll assign that function to 
add i will save this file and run the code f5 that so i will use the add of 2 comma 3 add of 2 comma 3 we will run then it produced 2 comma 3 it produced the value 2 plus 3 the value will be produced as 5 how it will produce so we will use the variable add or otherwise you may use to maintain a here that's a print print of add of 4 comma 5 so add of so print of add of 12 comma 13 so now I will run this code F5. So first two elements, the first two elements uh, adding value 4 comma 5 and then 12 comma 13. We can add that's assigned variable. You can pass these two arguments in here and it produce the value. This is one of one procedure to apply actually we didn't maintain any function name like that so how we can pass to without a function it's a add name how we can use this way so i will maintain that's a directly i will use the print statement here print of that's a lambda so lambda space x comma y x comma y colon x plus y so then you can pass the two arguments it may the two arguments four comma five you may use like this it will be print or not you will check it out you will run the code and it will be print automatically by that so we didn't maintain any function name directly you will use the arguments you will pass the fun entire lambda function or anonymous function, and then you will pass the arguments so okay like this way we can pass the arguments otherwise you will maintain you will assign this entire lambda function entire lambda should be assigned to the some variable so we'll pass the i will assign some variable so that function name that's a assigned name will be maintained here and run this code and it will be printed so like this it will be used and a single type of expressions you may use this lambda function so more than uh, uh, 13, 14 lines of code, we cannot maintain this lambda or lambda function or anonymous function. Uh, so how you can write the code uh, in the, I want only squares, squares of a, squares of n numbers. How can you write? So n numbers from, we will print from 1 to n how we can print the lambda element so that means past arguments how we can view that one. so one square two square three square like that we will print four square five square so like that we will print by using the lambda function by using lambda so I'm not passing it's so you will print one to n. You will print the one to n elements. How you can print like this? So by using lambda function. So you will pass from for loop, you will use the for loop for i in range of for i in a range of so one to n plus one. So you will pass the i value so that is a one way and you will maintain one uh, square function sq equals to 
so lambda lambda i colon that's a r otherwise you may use the x uh, this value may be x you will use the x so x into x x into x so then you will pass the value sq that's a print print of sq of i we will pass the sq of i then it will return that value so that value will be first we will pass one one square one four that's a nine sixteen and then five square means 25 like that it will print automatically so by using this sq function from one to n argument sets it may be n value is in a file you can write like this you can print this way so now we will see that one so first we can design the lambda values so i will use the square sq equals to function name is lambda sorry anonymous function i will create an anonymous function x colon x star x x colon x star x and i will use an a for loop so for for i in a range for i in a range of one comma n plus one so you will design you will read the n value n equals to so int of input of at so enter n so enter n then print of sq of i print of sq of i then you will run this code i will save this file and run this code So here one okay so on parenthesis is the same and we'll run the code enter n n value is in a five so you'll we'll see the one square two square three square four square and five square we'll print like this so you will use this code in the for loop so by using the lambda function or you may use directly of sq in place of sq you will use the lambda of x colon x star x of i you will maintain like that so uh, understanding purpose i will use the variable assign a variable and then maintain the lambda function and square so i want the one square two square three square four square like that and i want the uh, only even squares only so you will represent only even square how will you write the even squares so even squares means two four six eight squares so ten so you will pass that two square three square uh, like said you will print the n not n or sorry, not up to n not up to n you will print you will print n numbers how will you print n numbers so you will please understand this point so first you didn't print up to n that means 10 or so i will pass a 10 uh, it you will print the 100 so you will print 100 100 it's not a uh, up to five numbers only they print it out under two square so four square six square and then eight square ten square only five digits only print i will n value should be 10 so you will print 10 numbers you will print the 10 number 10 square numbers 
add that's even square numbers that means uh, sir remaining 12 square 14 square 16 square 18 square and 20 square so how you can print these elements so i i will change only one area so i didn't change any area where it will be applied it and we can find out that element so we can find out the squares two squares four square six square eight square ten square so you will print only uh, you will print n numbers not up to n so you will print n numbers so how will you print that n number it's a simple expression you will change one area you can uh, apply it one area it automatically prints these numbers even numbers. so first you will iterate the value so you will please observe this one so iterate uh, i will pass the n value as in a 10 so 1 to 10 repeats the loop 1 to 10 6 7 8 9 and up to 10 it's the value you will pass the value so first iteration you will pass the 2 second iteration you will pass the 4 third iteration you will pass the value 6 fourth iteration you will pass the value 8 and fifth iteration you will pass the value 10 so like that you will pass the value up to the then you will turn to. so that the expression will how it pass the value this is the i and this is the actual value so you will pass this 2 star i 2 star i means 2 into 1 2 2 into 2 4 2 into 3 6 2 into 4 8 2 into 5 10 so like that you can pass this expression into square sq of 2 star i you will pass only even numbers uh, even number of squares you will be print even number of squares you will be printed out at a pass we will pass this expression and we can see the uh, output so are you understand if you have any doubt in this so we'll pass the two star i it indicates two star i we will pass the two star i n numbers it will be print and so i will pass uh, save the file and run the file f5 i will pass the five five means that's a two square up to 10 square up to 100 it will print that means four five numbers it comes to the five numbers so not up to the five means it five means four only it will print so it will print up to the 100 100 elements. so that means uh, 10 10 elements five elements so two square first one is even squares means even number square so first one it will print the uh, two square four square and six square eight square and ten square we will please observe this one four square means so two square means four four square means 16 six square 36 eight square 64 and ten square 100 so like that you will be print this elements and how will you print the odd number squares up to n n odd number squares n odd number squares so you will change one area only it will print automatically let's say repeat the loop up to 10 uh, so up to 5 means 5 5 iterations we will print the f5 iterations 1 2 3 4 and 5 so odd iterations that the value will be odd at the first iteration you will print the 1 square first iteration you will print 1 square 
um, second iteration you will print the so three square third iteration you will print five square and fourth iteration you will print the seven square fifth iteration you will print the at uh, so nine square so this is the i value so now we will observe that so two into i minus one this is the formula you can apply it and you will run but so first one uh, two into one two two minus one one comes to the one and you will apply two into two minus one four four minus one three and next at uh, two two into three six six minus one six minus one five five square and we will pass the same way in the two into four eight eight minus one seven like that it will print the you will pass it's the only iteration purpose i will use the expression will changes the everything so we'll pass the expression here and we can change that value at so two star i minus one two star i uh, minus one it will print the entire values we'll print the entire value so, so we can see it and we can run the code and i will save this file and run the code f5 so it will print the odd odd squares odd number squares it's a five i will pass the five five odd number squares it's a one one square three square five square and seven square and nine square will please observe this one so first one is so one square second one three square third one five square fourth one seven square so fifth one nine square like that we can write the expression we can design the code so only even numbers are odd number squares i will be applied okay so i understand we have any doubt here so are you cleared or not will you please respond thank you and next one we'll see the next so this way we can write the lambda function or anonymous function so you lambda function can have any number of arguments but only one expression that is the drawback in this lambda function so lambda function you may pass any arguments it's a lambda function can have any number of arguments but only one expression we can find out the we can find out the entire expression we can pass it and we can find out the situation so whatever the situation we will maintain that situation will be maintained only one expression in lambda so expression is evaluated on return so that expression will evaluated in the lambda function on return lambda function can be used wherever the function objects are required so like that is a uh, now we will discuss in the sum of uh, sorry uh, even squares and odd squares like that so we can maintain that situation you will apply it. or otherwise you will apply the sum of squares uh, sum of even number squares sum of odd number squares like that you also you can apply it so you will pass this uh, sum equals to zero sum plus two star i so you will pass the function sq of two star i that will return the value that will be summed and finally you will produce the value 
Add so we can see the double squared or like that. So use of lambda function in a Python. So you will see this one. So we use lambda function when we required a nameless function. So you may use the nameless function for a short period of time, it will execute the short period of time. That, that is the purpose we will use the lambda functions. We use the lambda functions when we required a nameless function. When we required a nameless function for a short period of time. So process between a short period of time. In a Python, we generally use an argument, use it as an argument to higher order functions. In a higher order function are general purpose functions and a function that takes the other function as an argument you may pass the the function may pass the another function also you may use the lambda function you did it mention the function name like that you will use this simply you will maintain a function lambda function so it will be useful to uh, call the another function it may and next one so lambda functions are used along with the, some other built-in functions. That built-in functions may be filter, maps, uh, reduced function like this. We can use in the lambda function. Lambda function is used to maintain. So built-in along with built-in functions also we can refer to. So this is the purpose of lambda function. Nameless function, nothing but a name, nameless function. And next one is a fruitful function. So fruitful is nothing but an it returns something that is a fruitful. Fruitful means it return, so it have must return some value. That function is nothing but a fruitful function. So you didn't print within the function sub function. It will must return the value to the outside of the function. That is the fruitful function. So some of the built-in functions is also a fruitful function. That's a pow or math exponential value or sine or cosine or square root, square root like that. So these type of functions uh in a built-in function it will return something it will return or produce something that is that functions are nothing but a fruitful function so even print statement also a fruitful function it print returns that's a some value should be written on console so that value is written where it will return means it returns to the console 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 in the value print out in the end that's a, it's have a fruitful function it's have a fruitful function so function must return something that is nothing but a fruitful function so we'll see the some examples some of the built-in functions we have used such as math functions, such as math functions, have produced results, have produced results. The calling function generate a new value, calling function generate a new value, which we usually assign a value or used to part of expression, is part of an expression. So it may be calling function, it may be generated. So here we'll observe that math dot exponential 1.0 it's a it return it's a e power something value it will be written e power one it will return a e power one it's a nothing but a 10 power one so 10 power one it value will be e value should be something it's a 10 power something it will produce and the height value the height here the height will read radius into math of sine so angle you will produce the angle value it returns something 
to the right. So, but so far, none of these functions we can return the value, must return a value. And next, we will see the following example. So it returns the temporary element, so temporary variable. So we can find out the area of area. So we can pass the radius value here. So we'll pass the radius the area of area of 20. It pass the 20 as an radius. 20 as an radius and math.pi 3.14 into radius value 20 power 2 first it returns this value and multiplied it and finally stored into the temporary finally return the temporary this return the temporary is a fruitful function so fruitful function so you didn't return a value to the outside of the function you will print directly print of temp it is not an a fruitful function it's a wide function. It's a wide function. You will print it in the sub function. It's nothing but a wide function. It's a fruitful means it return the value. It must return a value. But so, so you'll see the return immediately from the function, from this function, and use the following expression to return a value. So this is the fruitful function. So any function, you say user defined function or so predefined function, whatever it may be, it returns something that is in a fruitful function. And here you will observe that absolute value, it may be absolute. So ABS function, ABS of right, so. 7 minus 14, it will return a ABS of minus 7, but output will result will be the 7. Absolute value you can design the year as in a 7, you will pass the value. So, value is in a returned value is a 7 or minus 7. 7 minus 14 means it will return minus 7. Return the value minus 7 minus 7 less than 0 minus 7 less than 0 it will return a minus 7 so minus 7 greater than 0 it will return a 7 so positive value maybe maybe a positive it will return a 7 it's exactly value will be a 0 it produce the none it's maybe less than or 0 or whatever so you will use absolute means we can greater than or less than whatever it may be you will pass the positive like this it's a minus of minus seven minus of minus seven it returns the seven like this minus four return a minus x you will return a positive x positive value it may be produce the positive value if it may be in the negative it will be returned to the positive value that's the absolute. So we'll see this one. It's a absolute value. So we can find out in a single expression. We can write. So we can write the absolute function. So F absolute. So I will use the ABS4 function name as and next I will pass the values as in a two arguments. Sorry. So I'll pass the one argument.
if of a checks the if of a less than so a less than zero print so you should return it fruitful means you should return return minus a return minus of minus so positive value should be written and and you will check it out it may be else if else if a greater than zero a greater than zero then return a return a and finally else should return it's a return zero it's enough it may be uh, it's an, uh, it doesn't return a none you may use the zero like that you will use and i will pass the function as an absolute i will call the function abscess abs wo uh, abs wo of show of and pass the value as in a negative minus 7 so abs wo of 0 and it will return it and you will print this value print of print of zero print of any positive value print of a b s o of eight i will save this file and run this file it may else if l if not else if sorry Yellow and I will run this code. I will pass the value seven. It's a positive value, negative. So I will pass the minus seven. So I will pass the minus seven, it will return a seven. I will pass the zero, it will pass the zero and 8 means it will return 8 7 0 and 8 so return means it will a fruitful function please search out and the next function is an avoid function in the void function So in a void function which does not return, doesn't return any value, doesn't return any value or called as a void function. The function which doesn't return any value. So doesn't return. So it will print within the sub function itself. It's called as an void function. And next to Python, it is a possible to compose a function without a return value, return statement. Function like this called as an avoid, like this as an avoid. It says they return none. They return none. So Python special object is nothing. It's a example. We will see the example like this. In print statement, we can maintain it. Say hello of Akbar. Call the Akbar and the, this Akbar will post to who? It will print the statement hello, hello space Akbar, Akbar explanatory mark like this. And next, same way. So, what is it? Love, what a lovely day. We'll print like this. So, you will, so nothing but wide function means it entire data will be print within the sub function 
within this subdivision. It will return to something means it prints to the uh, calling to a function. So, so some difference is there. You can observe the difference also. So first to the calling function, call the two functions. You first notice the slight difference in the output. So it's having a slight difference is there. The return function gives you a string. So return function must return the quotation in the string. While printing function, it's a, it prints to the general normal string it will print. So it, it doesn't maintain any quotation. It's the absence of remaining absence of the data without a quotation. And note that return values show up the interactive shell uh, environment only. So return value, return value show up the interactive shell environment only. In a script, only print command result in an output displayed like this. So first you can observe this one, this function. So def. So I will pass the word. So WD, the word is nothing but a interest or something, whatever it may be the word, interest. I will pass the word interest. So return should be return the value. WD means interest plus ing. So the entire statement will be print within the quotation. It's interest ing. So first we will see, this will be worked out only in the interactive shell environment only. So you'll please observe this one carefully, interactive shell environment only. So I will create a function and we'll see that one. So in this place, we can use directly print statement. So directly print, it will be the void. So nothing but a void function. So uh, we'll find out what is the difference, so return statement and print statement. So we'll see it in here and def get w of so I will pass a string, yes, st, and I will return, return of st plus some inputs. And next, uh, I will create another function, def also w of st and i will print here print of st plus st plus in class so, so i will save this file and run so get underscore w of that's the string is run so i will use a run run plus it will return the quotations you will observe the quotation and next one put underscore w of same thing i will run i will use the run 
it will print without a quotation so return means it value should be returned to the function it will return to the function the entire string will return to you print means it will print on the console that will print on the console itself only it didn't maintain a quotation the return means it by itself it process the string and then return so here it will print the concatenated the string and print the console that's only that's only the difference and next one next one is an a composition composition means function within another function call to the another function is called composition it's nothing but an nested functions like so we can call one function from within another so we can call one function from within another is called as an a this ability is called as a composition function composition is always combining two or more functions the two or more functions in such a way that the output of the function becomes the input second function so we will observe that if i will use an a function f this input should be the another function that is the g of x so this is the value so i may use the x x should be 1 so we will use pass the g of 1 this entire function will be the square this so is this uh, square value should be triple that means uh, cubic so first we will run the value one square here the total value will be applied into the cube cube means that value is 1 means 1 cube is an a 1 total entire will be the 1 in case 1 So I will pass the two. Two square means here it will four. Four cube means it's a sixteen to sixteen. Four into four, four square and sixty-four something like that. This it will print the sixty-four like this. The value will be printed. Four cube. Four into four into four, sixteen four sixty four. It will return the value sixty four. So first passes the value is an x, and then pass to the entire function will return some value. That return value should be processed into some other function. That's nothing but an a composition. That is nothing but a composition. So we'll see some example. so here i will use the two functions so first one is an addition and second one is an multiplication when i pass the value so add of so add of multiply so add of multiply of So you will pass the value to. So first we will refers to the multiplied value. Two into two, four. Then four will pass to here, and four plus two, six. It return the value. Six will be return the value. At this value should be returned to the this function. So this function. Will pass to the as as any input, and then it will return the entire. Value. So composition means composition of add and multiply of this. In case you will apply it to the multiply, multiply of add of two. Now first process the add two plus two four, and four will return here four into two eight. Entire eight will return to the function. Eight will return to the function.
So we'll see this example. So I will pass, I will create a two functions. I'll create two functions. F add of x comma, sorry, I will pass only one variable. So return x plus two. So addition will add this to f multiplication of an x value. It will pass it so it will return of x into two and you will print print the value print of first i will print add of mal of two second one print print of mal of add of two and i will save this file and run the file so first one so you will please observe that one uh, first i will process with the mal of two so first process the value mal of two so mal of two means two into two four 4 will be applied to the add, add function, 4 plus 2, it will return a 6. So, and the entire function will return and print the value 6. And second, you will see, add of 2 means, first, first will apply the add function, 2 plus 2, 4. So, here it will apply 4. 4 into 2, and it will return the 8. So, this this will be the composition. This is nothing but a composition function within another function or nested function is called the composition. Okay. Next, we'll see the scope of variable. So, scope of a variable. All variables in a program may not be accessible at all locations in that program. So, all variables in a program may not be accessible at all the locations. So, where it will be accessed? So, uh, how it will be the scope of that particular variable? We will see. So, there are two ways of a scope. So, global scope and local scope that's a global that's nothing but a global and local how it will be accessed and uh, so where it will be accessed that particular we will see this example and so and then we can understand the global and local way so you can see this example so first you will understood this example. So initially out of the function, we will declare a one variable total equals to zero. That is a global variable. That is a global variable. So I will define a one function. That function is a sum. I will again total the argument. So it's a, it's a total value. It's a within a argument. This total will access only within this function. And return means it value will be returned here. The sum of 10, 20 will return here. And finally, you will print this value. So you will print this value. Total means it will access outside of the function, not inside of the function. You may print this sum print of uh, print of sum of 10 comma 20 it will access only this sum itself it's not an outside of the 
it will not access outside it will access inside of the total so first we will see the inside and outside accessing of an a variable so first you will upload here So I will create a function def uh, before the function definition. So I will maintain one variable total equals to zero, or it may be I'm using some function or add function of two variables x comma y, add of two x comma y values, and I will use the same variable total equals to x plus y i'll use the x plus y and then print print of inside the function inside the function you will print the value total okay you'll please observe and then i will print the outside print outside print of outside outside total and i will call one function i will call a function that function name is add add of two comma three okay and i will run this code so you will please observe inside a function it will access the value I will pass the arguments as two comma three. It will add it and I will return the value five. In the outside, it will access the outside of the function. So this will access this total will access inside the function only. Inside the function only. So outside will access this total. So not inside the value. It will not access the inside the value. It will access the outside of the value. A next one. So this is the local and global. Local will access only within the function. Global will access enter the function. So within or outside also. You may use to pass uh, one minute. So globally you will use this one. It may access this variable into inside of the function or not we will see so 10 10 plus x plus y so we will see this one so not 10 total total plus x plus y we'll see it will produce an error so local variable total reference before assignment. So must assign the value, it's unbounded local error, unbounded local error. It may refer a global total. So global total variable. I think now it will be accessed inside of the global value. Okay, will please observe that it will access entire within or the outside of the function also the total value will be changed the total value will be changed 10 plus 15 outside also it will be referred as a 15 only you will please observe the entire total will be global value also access the total and then it will be assigned so this is the global or local so global means it access entire the pro program so local means it it will access only inside of the function this is the scope of that variable okay and next we will see the recursion do you have any doubt
so now see the recursion recursion is the process of determining something it's the term of itself recursion is a process of determine determining something in terms of itself so function called by itself is called as an error function called by itself is called as an recursion so so please observe here def recurs it recursively call the within the function so mainly outside we recall the outside first we call the outside of the function it call outside and then it will call inside multiple times it will be repeated again and again it's called as a recursive call or recursive function so we'll see one example so factorial so First we can so I will write the recursive function and I will explain. So first create a function def. Fact of x. So if x value will be if x equals to equals to zero, it must return the value return one. Maybe x equals to equals to zero or x equals to equals to one should return the value one otherwise else so return the return x into x into fact of x minus one fact of x minus 1 so you can return the value x into fact of x minus 1 is an a function call which may be in there you will pass the 5 5 into 4 4 into 3 3 into 2 2 into 1 up to 1 it will also receives the 1 it will return the 1 so first you will absorb the value So print fact of five f five it will return one twenty. So how it will return the one twenty value? We will see. So in the recursion, it will store the data into the stack. So first we will call the value fact of five. So fact of fact of five call the fact of five. So fact of five means five equal to equal to zero or five equal to equal to one. That condition is false and goes to the else part. And the value five into fact of four. Now again call the function. So each function fact again call to the fact fact of four and the uh, fact of four so again fact of four means it comes to checks the four equal to equal to zero and it will check the value four equal to equal to zero or four equal to equal to one no it comes to the else part four into four into fact of fact of three so x minus one three and again fact of three 
again calls to the fact of 3 3 into fact of 2 3 into fact of 2 again call this fact of 2 fact of 2 means 2 into fact of 1 2 into fact of 1 calls to the fact of 1 it's a return value will be 1 return value will be 1 so x 1 equal to equal to 1 return a 1 it's a here fact value will be it's a fact value so you should understood this one so 2 into 1 2 into 1 value will be 2 2 will be stored into fact of 2 and then second so fact of 2 value will be 2 the 3 into 2 the value will be 6 fact of 3 value will be 6 and next fact of 3 so it should be 4 into 6 the value will be 24 fact of 4 value will be 24 and next fact of 4 so 5 into 24 the value will be 120 so fact of 5 value will be 120 return this one so finally stack stack means last in first out so first to store the values in the stack and then it will be returned into the so last in first out final result value will be returned to the function final return value be returned into function this is the recursion and we will see some problems in the hacker Go and solve the problems in the hacker rank login. So go to the developers. Go to the developers and click on Google. Support to the hacker. It comes to the so Google Gmail ID. You will give the Gmail ID. It automatically. First, you will log into the Gmail and then you will log into the hacker rank. It comes to here and down it and go click on the Python. And first, we will solve the basic problems. Easy introduction part and i think i already saw so what purpose so we'll go for the python 3 so first you will understand this one so the question here is Get the sample code. So it's the sample line of a code that executed in the Python. Print hello world. Or we'll pass the my string hello world. So you will print this statement only. Hello world statement. So we'll pass this. And paste here and run the code. So this is the simple, no problem. We'll run it. And submit the code. Successfully submitted. Okay. First one is completed. Then go for the second one. So you see the Results situation. 
first you should understand the problem properly and then you will solve this problem. So the given number n perform the following conditions. n is an odd, print the void, n is a even. So here three situations are given in the even position. So inclusive range, inclusive means it includes the two and five. It includes range six and five. It includes the six and 20, six to 20. Print the not word. It's a greater than 20. It prints the not word. So you'll write the condition. How will you write the condition? So if, if the n value, n value is even, you should occur three two greater than five so greater than or equals to two and less than or equals to five n greater than or equals to two n greater than or equals to five you, you will print the not wired you will print not wired and this is the condition in Inclusive of 6, n greater than or equals to 6 and n less than or equals to 20. We will print the void. Print the void. And n is even greater than. That means it may be situation will occur not void, not void. Here, here we will use uh the situation greater than n greater than zero so you will print the not void condition you will return this one otherwise else situation will occur you will print the void condition so you will write the code uh, so i will write the code in the First, we will understand this one. N is an odd number. First, you will read the N value. First, you will read the N value. Write the code here. N, read the N. N equals to int of input. So int of input and you will check the condition if of n mod 2 n mod 2 equal to equal to 0 that is a even in n is an even you should write this or not white so you will write the code and again you will check it out if of if of n greater than or equals to 2 and n less than or equals to 5 less than or equals to 5 or 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 n greater than 20 n greater than 20 this is the condition so this is the condition and then you will print print the value is not wired not wired otherwise else so this condition is in a false you should check it out this one uh yell if we'll use the yell if yell if of so n greater than or equals to six and n less than or equals to 20 then print the value print white and otherwise else so it's an odd number finally else will print the value print white 
will write like this. Okay, so will you write the code in the hacker rank and we can solve this one. So same code I will return to here and we will finish up to and the n it will be n it will be stripped and after n before n mod to equal to equal to zero then so lead code. No, first a hacker rank gunning not the lead code of both if of n greater than or equals to 2 and n less than or equals to 5 r or n greater than 20 n greater than 20 then you will print of not wired double e i o t wired and next to elif elif of the condition n greater than or equals to six and n less than or equals to twenty then you will print the value print of so the wired condition and finally we will return else the sales part and finally we will print of wired So once we will check it out, not double e is in a capital here. It may be wired. So double e is capital. Double e is in a capital. And we will run the code. Okay, and the uh, all test cases are passed successfully or not. We'll check it out. That's correct. So, this way we can solve the problem. Okay, so this is the way to solve this question. And we'll see the next one. That's uh, automatic operators. We'll see the question. It's a first line contains a sum, sum of two numbers. Second line contains the difference of two numbers. And uh, third line contains product of two numbers sir what is the use a strip means it's having some space uh, so you will pass the number n before and after uh, so we'll pass the value n here it's having a space before and after in strip means it removes this uh, spaces and the actual value will be written. Maybe pass the values before the space and after the space you will maintain. So that value will be stripped it and remove it and then actual value will be sent to the 
uh, actual value will be check it out. Actual situation will look for like uh, strip is nothing but removing the before and after the value space. So first line here, the first line contains the sum of two numbers. Second line contains difference of two numbers. Third line contains it's a product of two numbers. We'll remove so first line. We'll maintain a first line three plus five, so eight, and uh, three minus five. It return a minus two, and uh, three into five. It return a fifteen. And uh, you can now you can solve this problem. So first we will read the values. A value and B value. Let's say int of uh, input, int of input. This is also you'll use the int of input, and then you will print the value, print of A plus B, and print A minus B, print A star B. So now we can solve the problem in the hacker rank. solve the problem so here it will pass the data a and b and directly will print the values a plus b and print of a minus b and then you will print the value multiplication a star b and you will run this for here and submit the code all test cases are successful or not we'll check it out as will be so like this you can first you understand the problem and then you can solve the problem in the hacker okay so We'll see the another one. We have any simple we can solve. So Python division. Python division. The same way here, the modular division and division takes two values. It's a, a floor division and division we will pass the same procedure we will upshot here a value is 3 b value is 5 and the result will be the 3 flow division it returns the 5 0 0 and return the value 3 it's a flow division it uh, produce the value 0 and 0 0.6 means it's a floating point value will be occurred exact value exact value will return the division flow division returns the integer value and we will run the code write the code here and i will print the value print of first one is in a flow division a slash slash b and the second line contains the division a by b and i will run this code and submit the code So it's a all test cases should be complete. So in this way we can solve the problems in the hacker. So, so
के सर Now will you please message Leela Sai Krishna. If you have any doubt, we'll pass the message. Sir, Banu, sir. 